I'll just a quick video on my new Yeehaw 858D. Um, that's not how you pronounce it, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it from now on after uh, reading on some forums. Uh, I had my doubts as to the uh, uh, some of the safety uh, issues with this unit, and uh, I was uh, uh, surprised to learn that they were all true. <laughs> um, the first thing I did upon receiving the unit was check uh, between the ground plug and a... Uh, a metal screw here into this chassis. This is uh, powder coated uh, metal. And I did get a nice, you know, 0.2 ohms uh, as expected. And I was feeling pretty happy and confident about that. Uh, the next thing I checked was the fuse. And um, to my eye, that looks like a real fuse. I guess there's been units that have come with, with fake fuses. Um, maybe not on the Yeehaw, but on the, uh, the WEPs or knockoff WEPs and knockoff Yeehaws. Who knows? Um, so the next thing I did was I checked continuity between um, the metal tip of the blower unit and um, the ground pin, and uh, yeah, there was nothing. Um, so that was a little concerning. Um, I took apart uh, this unit, and I saw a very ridiculously small ground wire, but a ground wire nonetheless, uh, going from the unit to the uh, front panel. Um, so I took the front panel apart, and I saw that there was a ground wire going to this painted screw right here which then travels presumably down this um, plastic standoff onto this metal uh, plated, uh, white painted um, front piece. And I suspect what happened, um, you can kind of see in there, and it's hard to see, but the plastic standoffs just kind of glued on. So I don't think that metal screw actually touches the metal um, faceplate. Uh, so what I did is I took the, the ground wire that's coming out of the gun um, from that point there and I moved it over to this corner here. Um, before I did that, I had to sand a, or file away the paint uh, here to expose some metal. So now this whole front panel is grounded, which is cool. Uh, and then I also uh, filed away the uh, powder coating on the corner there yeah, compared to the other corners. They're a little, uh, you can see now, there you go. So I filed, filed that away. So now at least the screw should force, uh, should sandwich this between the uh, metal plate and the chassis. I don't have any, you know, ground star screws, and I'm sure this violates uh, all kinds of safety code um, the way it is, but it's a uh, hundred times better than the way it's shipped. Uh, the next thing I was kind of surprised to see um, is that, uh, yes, indeed, the um, live wire was uh, not going through the fuse. Uh, black is live. Uh, black was going straight into the unit. Uh, uh, one tap off to the transformer through the switch and right into the uh, right into the gun. Um, uh, so what I did is I swapped the uh, the live and neutral, the black and the white wires uh, on the back here. So now the uh, the black wire goes into the white wire here through the fuse, um, and uh, and everything's switched now. Um, yeah. So that's about it. Um, I'm gonna power this thing up in a minute. If you don't see any videos from me for a while, um, it didn't go well. See ya.